Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, we want to speak about the bootstrap view and the form rating. So if you need to make it like a recipe and then you want the client want to make the stars from one to five, then this video is be pretty good for you. And that's what you want to speak about how you can uh, use the built-in rating uh, user interface from a bootstrap view. That's a building on the top of you of a uh, bootstrap, of course. And uh, for that, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and like it and share this video if you like it. And of course, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel too. And don't forget the GitHub. Uh, the source code will be found on the GitHub and the link will be in the description below. So let's go ahead and uh, learn something from bootstrap view and the rating. Thank you. The first we're going to do now will be to create a very basic form uh, rating uh, whoops, element. And for this, we just need to say model and rate one. That's a pretty simple one. We we'll just say zero. And uh, then I want to say uh, the uh, code value. And then we're going to do this one. Let's go ahead in the browser. And you can see we have five stars here. If I click on this one, it will be four, and this will be two, and this is one. So one to five, that's the default system of the of the ratings. But of course, you can change something like uh, yeah, like you only can use the read only options, and that's what you're gonna do now. And for this, we we need to make a a default value here. I'll just say two point five six seven, and uh, I'll just copy this. and change this one and now we can go back for the browser and speak a little bit more and you can see here we have the value 2567 and this star is ha having uh, the half selected that's meaning uh, when you use the dots uh, the decimal uh, numbers then the rating system will be uh, uh, slices up so if you have uh, one two then it will be full stars if you have two and a half then it will be a half star, and that's how it's working in in the in the Bootstrap views um, rating system. But I say we want to say read only, so that's what we're going to enable now, and edit and going back again. Then you can see I can't click it anymore. I can click off this we created before, but this one will not be clickable. It's only read. So if the user have uh, sending the rating inside. You can change it to read only. It's pretty neat if you're building the rating system. So the next step we want to speak about now would be how you can build more stars. In some cases, it could be nice to have uh, more stars on your rating system. Uh, I don't know why it could be like how good is the movie? It's from one to ten. Then it could be nice to have ten stars and not five stars. Um, I think the reason the bootstrap view build it on five stars because the most of the ratings will be on the five stars. So you really save time to to have a fallback on, on, five, uh, on five stars. And uh, here I'll sh show 10 and I'll say show value and show value max. That's what we're gonna do now. So we should have it from one to 10 in the side and uh, then we have uh, yeah, here what is the selected and how many stars we get. So let's say we have here, that's really six, six of 10, and uh, 10 of 10, and two of 10. And that's what you're using the, the show value and the show value max for. And it's pretty nice if you have some ring system, let's say you have the selected four uh, stars, and when you have clicked, this will be read only like this, and the total star will be the two, five, six, seven, and uh, you want to show the user the exact rating score. So that's what you can use the minimum and maximum values for. And if you want to change the stars here, you can use the more stars if you want. Let's go back for the editor one more time. Here to the to the end of the movie. That's not the totally ending, but it's the second last thing I want to show you. Let's uh, build the rate here with four. I'll just put it down here 
and uh, this one we want to I'll just remove the Tim stars here and uh, yeah here I want to say the class would be MB2 and because we want to do this it's uh, because I'll show how you can change the color if you want that the first one should be the variant and you can use the built-in method like warning and succeed but you can use uh, color too so if I want to change this for color I can use hex code FF99 this is uh, orange or I can use just say pink and uh, th that's the color we want to, to use in this demo and you can see we have the different ways to check up here and uh, you decide exactly what color you want so it depends on the, the website's layout you can change the, the black color here uh, with the white uh, inside to some like yellow, green, orange or pink it's, it's totally up to you and if you want you can you can change the, the shapes here from stars to something else so let's say you have the recipe and you want to change it with the, with the heart so it's uh, like we love food uh, then you can do this way and that's the will be the last thing we want today and I don't want to bind it to anything I'll just show how you can do this and then you can speak about it uh, form rating and for this I want to go down the empty, empty one the icon should be empty we want to be the heart I'll just go up here and if it's a icon it's a it's half let's say it's a one half it should be the heart uh, half if we want to the full I want to the heart fill and then if we want to like to clean something it could be we want to clean the selected value then we want to say the icon clear should be slash and then circle it's the circle with the slash inside woohoo and uh, then we're going to say we want to show the clear and then we want to variant the danger because heart is red so that, that's how we can do this and you can see this is the clean one so I can say this one and uh, I can clear it up I, I think we can manipulate a little bit with it and say and just pick the rating number two here and then you can see what happened here you can see this one and then it's clear and we are back so that's how you can change the the icons you want and i really hope you will like this video with the push wrap uh, ready from the form and uh, i really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget all the code is on the github you can find the description below in the, in the uh, of this one and uh, if you have some questions please make a comment below and uh, like and share this video if you like it thank you so much for the subscribe and hope to see you next time bye